What is going on guys? Welcome to another amazing tutorial and in this lesson I want to start talking to you guys about the canvas in HTML5. Now what the canvas is, is it's a very powerful feature that basically allows us to draw graphics on our web page and I'm not just talking about JPEG or ping images that we can embed on there I'm talking about a drawing program just like you would draw graphics in Photoshop we can actually use that same technology but in our web pages now to make dynamic moving changing graphics and it's going to be awesome so the first thing I want to mention is this in order to use the canvas feature you actually need a JavaScript file. The JavaScript is basically going to be the brains behind drawing everything. The HTML is pretty much just going to be the display what you look at. So let's go ahead and link to our JavaScript file now and I'm going to do that source equal Bucky.js and I recommend you name yours Bucky.js too. Why? Because it's my name and it's awesome. So go ahead and link to it right there and now let's actually go ahead and make the canvas itself. So I'm actually going to put this in a section and I'll just give it an ID of main and this is just because I like organizing everything very nicely and inside our section is the canvas itself. So in order to make a canvas on your HTML file what you need to do is first make the canvas open and closing tags and of course the tag name is canvas if you couldn't have guessed and the opening canvas tag takes a couple attributes that are actually necessary the first thing we need to do is we need to give it an ID so let me go ahead and just give this an ID of canvas now why do we need to give an ID well whenever we are referencing this canvas in JavaScript say we have five different canvases on our web page well we want to say that we want to work with this canvas so in order to say alright this is the canvas we want to work with we reference it through ID, actually through the JavaScript method get element by ID. I don't know if you guys remember that. You'll see later on. And now after this, it takes two more necessary attributes, width, and you guys can probably guess height. So this is basically how wide and how tall of an area do you want to be able to draw graphics on? So depending on your website depending on what to, you're developing for this may be a little bit different but for me for this tutorial I'm just gonna make mine 600 by 400 and what this is is it's basically like a blank piece of paper on your website and in this area is the only area that you're gonna be able to draw on so if you didn't have this at all like this you wouldn't just be able to draw graphics right here you actually need a canvas and set the width and height of it before you can draw so before we start typing and drawing you know a whole bunch of shapes and gradients and you know colors on this canvas we need to do something for the people that don't have Google Chrome yet for you know your grandma who just got the internet like 10 years ago and hasn't upgraded their browser let me go ahead and write like hopefully you don't see this if you do get Google Chrome so why would I write an awful mean message like that? Well, as you guys probably could have guessed, what the canvas does is, like I said, it's basically a blank piece of paper that shows up on your website that you can draw graphics on. Now, for those people who have not upgraded their browser in like the last three years and are working with like, you know, old Internet Explorer 6, what they do is that browser doesn't have the capability to you know see the canvas yet it doesn't even know about it so whenever someone with an old browser tries to see a web page with a canvas on it and they can't because the browser just isn't capable they're gonna get this message instead so if we go ahead and save this and run and launch in Chrome I have updated browser that is you know capable of all the HTML5 features so I don't see that you know error message at all I just see this canvas that's ready to be drawn on however like I said not everyone can see this if they don't then you're gonna get this error message so if you're watching this tutorial and you're like hmm, I wonder if my browser can see this or not just go ahead and throw this in and hopefully you don't see this so now before we start drawing crap I want to mention one last thing you know how this has a width of 600 and 400 well let me go ahead and mention this what the canvas is is it's basically a bunch of coordinates or a grid system now in this canvas 0 0 is in the top left so don't think of this like in math 
class where you're making quadrant one two three four and zero zero was in the middle not this case zero zero is in the top left so if I say okay we're gonna start drawing at the coordinate 100 100 it would mean 100 across and 100 pixels down so 100 100 would be right around here and that's where we tell the canvas where we want to start making those shapes so that is all I'm gonna cover for this tutorial again make sure your HTML file is set up and in the next tutorial what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be hopping over to this JavaScript file and actually showing you guys how to make different kind of shapes how to make different sizes and a whole bunch of awesome stuff so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then